Remember that great movie, The Martian, Matt Damon? He was stuck on Mars, needed food, so he tried to grow potatoes and succeeded. Yeah. Farming food in space may seem like science fiction, but it also may be necessary one day. And now scientists think another crop could grow on Mars. Rice. Amazing, isn't it? Let's get to Devo. This is, this is pretty cool. You know, if you remember when that movie came out. Yes. And everybody would say, that can't happen. There's no way that could have happened. We've done a lot of, when I say we, NASA has done a lot of research on the soil in Mars. And they're saying, yeah, this could potentially happen. There has to be a couple of things that we need to change. So let's get into it. First of all, the Martian dirt. We don't have any Martian dirt on Earth. We have it in the capsules. We've collected it. But through analyzation, we know that it has nitrogen. It has potassium. It has phosphorus. Three important nutrients you need to grow crops. The pH level of the soil is also fine too. Here's the one problem that the scientists are finding with Martian soil. It is filled with perchlorate. Perchlorate, I believe that is called. That is toxic to plants. So for us to grow rice on Mars, we're going to have to find a way to dissolve and get rid of that Perchlorate. So perchlor is it perchlorate? That's what I'm going to say. Perchlorate. If I'm wrong, I apologize. So scientists, what they did was they actually simulated Martian soil by using volcanic soil from Hawaii. Okay, and they added a couple more things. They're calling it their Mars simulant. They used that Mars simulant to try to grow rice. And here's what they did. They realized that they were able to grow it, however, there were smaller shoots and wispier roots involved with the rice. They said, okay, so this type of soil, we can grow rice. Here's what happened then. Then they had to add that chemical in, the one that is on Mars, the perchlorate, mm -hmm. and that's when they ran into problems. They realized, okay, the problem is we can't grow our normal rice that we grow on Earth on Mars soil with all this chemical in it. Mm. So. They dropped the chemical down and they were able to do it. So what they realized is if we can find a way to get rid of this perchlorate in the soil in Mars, we can grow rice up there. And the problem is there's two ways to get rid of this perchlorate. One is water. Okay. Not a lot of water on Mars. Right. Number two, there is a bacteria that you could introduce to the Martian soil that will eat it. It, so it stands to reason that we will be able to grow rice or potatoes or some other type of crop, Russell. We just need to genetically modify the rice a little bit to and, be able to withstand the perchlorate. And, and what they've done here on Earth mm -hmm. in, the, in this effort, is that rice edible? I, I believe so, okay. yeah. I believe it is edible, but they're going to have to change the genes of the rice to make it so it can withstand at least a little bit of this perchlorate. Right. And if they can do that, then I think that they're going to be fine. This is, but we can't carry 20 years' worth of supplies with us to Mars. So we have to keep finding ways, ingenious ways, to grow crops. And I think they'll succeed. we got to go. But the one thing I do want to say, going, getting out of this, mm -hmm. is it crazy to you that we can know this, that we can know what that soil is like on Mars no. by not even bringing that soil down back to Earth? That, that's those, crazy to me. The analyzation instruments they have on their craft of Mars, that's what's, that's yeah. what's amazing to me. Yeah. Okay. Hey, yeah. got to go. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Yep.